Hey guys, welcome back to part. Hey guys, welcome back to part the of what if not I had all nine tailed beasts. Okay, so last episode I proved I know knew all the names, but it's easier for me to say one tails, two tails, and etc. etc. So I'm just gonna do that. Anyway, like the like goal for the next part since you guys are smashing the like goals, it's gonna be a hundred and ten for the next part, which I know you guys can hit. So yeah, let's get into this. Last time we left off, Naruto and Kuromo mastered KCM2, but then Naruto had the smart idea uh, for once that he could probably use all the other tailed beasts while in that state. So yeah, Naruto mastered how to use the other tailed beast. So now I think we're going to do the Zabuza mission. Yeah, we're doing the Zabuza mission. This one's going to go a bit differently. As Naruto is actually quite joyful in this what if, as believe it or not, he's had nine people who actually like and care for him his entire life now. He didn't know about it, but when he found out, he became a lot more joyful, which a lot of people noticed, and a lot of people didn't like, but Naruto didn't care. Anyway, so in the Zabuza mission, we're gonna have the usual Naruto complain, and then they get it. Anyway, I'm going to skip most of this story as I want to focus on other stuff, like training for a bit. So, I'm not going to skip, like, most of it. When I say most, I just mean, like, all the small details. So, we're going to go straight to the part where Naruto and that get attacked by ninja. Kuroma mentions that there's ninja following them. And then he mentions this, this Sasuke, Suki, and Sakura. And then they all agree to that... It would be easier if they went two and one. So, uh, Suki and Naruto went together, and Sasuke and Saka went together. So Kakashi realised that their team up. He must. That means they must have noticed that the ninjas were coming, and he's proud of this. Then when the ninjas jump out, uh, Saka jumps jumps forwards and. The ninja's like, oh, I'll get you then. Um, Sasuke using her to distract and gets a fireball jutes off. And then they high five. And then Suki runs at him, but the other ninja actually used a, like a death jutsu. When he dies, it launches an attack, uh, like a never missing attack. And he launches it at Zuki, Suki. Naruto, seeing this, gets in the way of it and it pierces him. And then the attack f goes away. Suki, seeing this, Loses it. Sasuke loses it. Like, they go crazy. And they both, at the same time, awaken the Bagunkyo. Well, in the last week, if I said they awaken the Bagunkyo, they didn't. They awaken it now, I'm going to say. Anyway. Um, you get to choose what Suki's Bagunkyo Shangan is. And then that's when Na they look at Naruto's injury, and Kakashi says... He was a good ninja and all that, and then that's when Naruto's eyes open and all shot. But it isn't Naruto's usual eyes, it's dining gun. And this is where the tall beast in inside, like, what's going on? That's when they feel that malevolent chakra yet again. But this time they know what to do. They jump on it and rip it apart before it can take the chakra and become formed. Anyway. Yeah. So due to the tentacles being like like appearing inside Naruto, it gave him the ability to activate the running gun. <clears throat> and so the tail beast stop it, and they're like, "Wait a minute! If he actually saved Naruto, the chakra he used is healing him. I guess his plan was to heal Naruto, and while we were distracted, take over, huh?" And that's what Naruto's hit injury heals, and then he gets up like. <sighs> Oh, hey, Suki, did the uh, stop the attack? And he's, and the, he's like, ye Suki's like, yeah, but how do you know you'd heal? He said, oh, because I have a few friends that help me out with that. And then Naruto appears and smiles and they all yell at him, saying, that was stupid. How do you know we could heal you? He said, because remember the time I used a lava star and I messed it up and it poured all over me and I got burnt down to my skeleton? 
And I said, oh yeah, and you died. And I said that happened, he said, why don't you all put your chakra together, you could heal me back from that. So I'm um, guessing getting pierced through the stomach, could you could heal me too. And he said, good point, just don't do it again. They gave us a scan, and then Naruto says, okay, sorry. Anyway, they continue the mission, and they talk to the bridge builder, like, blah, 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 you should have told me, and it all goes as usual. And Suki actually defends the bridge builder with Naruto. Anyway. So... This is where Zabisa attacks them. And then the sword hits the uh, tree above him. And Naruto looks at this thinking, Oh, I sensed him, but I thought he would attack with the others, and he says this out loud. Zabisa's so like, wait, you're a sentry type ninja? And he chucks a kunai at him. And Naruto just captures it and says, yeah, I am. And he chucks it back, but twice as hard, which Zabisa's like, oh, Kid, you got talent. Okay, quickly interrupting it. Today's a new day. I had to stop the videos. My iPad went out of storage and it died, but that's sick, so we're going to continue with the story. So after Naruto chucks the Kuno back twice as hard, somebody's just like, oh, kid, you've got a bit of talent. Why don't you come with me? And Naruto laughs saying, Tch. yeah, I know I have talent, but you don't. And all the told Beast and Naruto's head start laughing. And then somebody's just like, if that's how you film, and he jumps at Naruto, and for, and, but he has his sword in his hand again. And he chucks the sword at Naruto, pretending it's a Kuno. And Naruto says, Tch, Is that it? And a wall of sand appears in front of him. He's like, I don't even need to do that one. Shukaku, thanks. And he says that in his head. And he's like, You're welcome. Yeah, Shukaku, Shukaku can the thing Naruto without Naruto trying. And somebody says, like, Oh, that's a unique ability. You really are special. I'm going to say, I'm going to make sure I don't hurt you too much. And Naruto says, Okay, that's up to you, but it's your death wish. So Mr. starts laughing, and he runs at Naruto, which Kakashi intercepts. And he pulls away his, like, headband, and it shows a Shaman gun. So Suki and Sasuke are like, Wait, you have the Shaman gun? And, now, and he's like, Yeah, it's a long story, I'll explain later. And they start fighting. It all goes to usual until Haku appears. Naruto jumps in the way of the needles and captures him and says, uh, No, 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 no. That's their fight. That's one thing I hate is when someone interrupts someone else's fight. Me and you, let's go now. And then Haku's like, he does all of his mysterious fight and says, If that is your wish, I am sorry. I do not enjoy taking life. So Naruto says, Neither do I, but I still have to do it. And then he jumped at Haku, which Haku didn't expect Naruto to be so fast. And Naruto actually lands a hit and then her flying. And yeah, this is the how the story's gone. So, this time, Kakashi and Sabuza continue their fight. It doesn't end as early. And they continue going at it. And Naruto seeing this, like, wait. Okay, I'm gonna end this quick and go restore that Sabisa's chakra and then I'm gonna fight him myself. And then he goes to attack Katu until she does the ice meal jutsu. Naruto looks around like, huh, cool. And then she flies around and Naruto's like, ah! And he gets hit by a needle like, damn, you're fast! And he pulls it out and it heals. She's like, whoa, you heal fast. And she chucks it again, but this time Naruto's ready and he dodges. So she, now that she knows that Naruto isn't going to be messed with, she goes at a full speed straight away. Which at, Naruto, at first Naruto didn't expect, so he decides not to keep up with it, to give her a full sense of hope. Well, I say her, but we all know it's a he. And then he's getting nailed and nailed and nailed. And that's when Nat Kurama yells out while he's in a bit of his truck, saying, KID! STOP BEING STUPID! AND FIGHT! And Naruto says, UGH! Sure, and where did Kurama force the chakra through all the needles got shot out of Naruto? And then he does hand signs, he says, Steam style, blah 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 blah, and he shoots a bunch of steam out, melting all the ice mirrors. And then Haku's like, Whoa, what's that chakra? And now Naruto's releasing all of the tailed beast chakra at once, only a little bit though. Kakashi senses they're like, Wait, has the seal weakened? Are the tailed beast breaking out? And so Bissa hearing this, like, Wait, what? And Kakashi explains, you're gonna die anyway, so I might as well tell you. He has that kid over there has all the told be sealed in with him. Sealed within him within him and so it's just like 
I really could use them. Because remember, keep in mind, Kakashi doesn't know about like the Toad Beast being like on Naruto's side. At least I don't think. Okay, I said I don't think it's because I can't remember what I said last episode. So if I said that he did, that was a lie. He doesn't. And then Naruto using the some of the Toad Beast track, he just blitzes Haku. And he walks over to Savisa. And he hits the sword with Savisa flew at him away from him. And he just touches his forehead and Savisa's like, wait, my track's back. And he looks at Tatashi, Kakashi and does the same thing. And he says, my fight now, bye, and pushes him away. Savisa picks up his sword and says, hey kid, will you come back here in Jutsu? I won't even like have you be like be work for me, I'll let you be my partner. Naruto stops and thinks for this. He doesn't actually think about it, he lets Sabasa think he is. He strokes his chin and then he sees Suki like shrugged face and he starts laughing like, Are you that stupid? Why would I leave this team? It's their best. And then he disappears and reappears behind Zabiza and just slaps him on the head and says, One option, come with us and surrender to die. Sabasa says, I'll rather die. And Naruto says, in a deep voice, deep demonic voice that with all the told he's talking through, well, that can be arranged. <coughs> okay, forget that cringiness. He just says that can be arranged, but a manager demon voice. And then Zabasa hearing this feels Naruto's blood dust. And then Naruto's hands grow claws, and he's like, you lost chance to change your mind, and he swings. This is where Haku appears. And Naruto slices Haku. And he's like, you idiot! And he starts losing it, losing like his mind. He starts going crazy. And this is where the Toad Beast are getting ready. They know what's coming. Their trap will be to be sucked out of them. And then the Ten Toes is appearing out of trap car. Naruto looks up and his eyes turn to the running Charangan. And then Naruto, and then the Toad Beast destroyed the Ten Toes, but Naruto's already lost it. This is where they force his own, their own chakra with the Naruto saying, Just heal him! Heal him! And they act, force activate his running gun. And Naruto gets back control. He's like, Oh, my head! And he's really lightheaded. But as is just like, How kid finally played his purpose? Which is Naruto gets away from being lightheaded and goes, Okay, I guess you want to die. And he taps ha Haku and heals him. And he grabs Sabasa by the throat and starts choking him. And with his running gun, he snaps up his neck. He's an almighty push. But he sounds up the king of hell and he was a bizarre just to do it again. And then once the person come back, he's screaming like, Ah, my neck! <laughs> and he tries to breathe, but he can't. As Naruto's already done dislocated part of it that stops him breathing. And he lets the person suffocate painfully and slowly. Suki's so seeing this gets a bit of a chill. But she knows Naruto only did this as... The guy stepped over the line. Anyway, he looks at Haku and says, Listen, I get that you want to, that this has saved you and all that, so you want to help him and all that. But I just saved you myself, so why don't you come with me? I'll be your new light. And Haku thinks about this, and then Suki gets, gets annoyed, like, God oh, damn it! And he looks at her saying, she, He's... A guy, and she's like, wait, what? And Sasuke is shocked a bit, and he looks away, he's like, damn it, I actually liked her a little bit. And Naruto sensing this starts laughing, saying, Sasuke, you do know I can sense emotions, and Kakashi's like, wait, 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 you can do what? And they all start going on about how Naruto can do that. And then they also mention, wait, the sound moves about you doing anything, and Naruto says, yeah, I know. And he makes like a mini sound tornado just by moving his fingers. And they're like, whoa, that's powerful. Then Kakashi's like, wait a minute. How did you break out the ice? And Naruto just launches super hot steam. And Kakashi's like, you can use steam leaves. He's like, yes. And Naruto's like, yes. <laughs> Giving a cringy laugh which makes everyone else laugh. By the way, I'm in a good mood because my holiday started. That's why the story went from super depressing to super happy. It's only for this episode though. Because I'm glad that, because they just finished a mission and, and also this is the first time I haven't sped through the service arc by making Naruto just kill everyone in a millisecond. And then, um, they're like, okay, what else can he do? He does a hand sign and shoots a fireball, but it's blue. And now Kakashi's thinking, wait, this still really has been weakened, hasn't it? He can use, 
you can use um, Shukaku's sound. Oh, okay, I'm just going to say the Todd Beast names. I forgot. I f- just the, the tower number. He's going to say he can use the one toe sound, the two toes fire. He's like, wait, Naruto, can you create like a weird acid? And, he's, and Naruto's like, actually, yes, how do you know? And he shoots out a beam of acid that melts through the trees. Because she's like, wait a minute, what else? And Naruto does hand signs, she says, lava release, lava armor. And he gets surrounded in armor. He's like, damn it, four tails. And he's like, wait a minute, Naruto, can you fly? He's like, that's a weird question, of course not. And Kakashi's like, phew, and he's like, psych, and wings pop out of his back, and he starts flying around. And everyone's looking at him like, what the hell are you? And then he's like, okay... Steam. Damn it. Um, what else should he be able to do? Because he's thinking to himself, he's like, Naruto, can I? I know you're doing jerky, and Naruto stops, and his head, and his emotion goes from happy to sad. And he's like, he starts crying a bit, like, <laughs> so, so I guess you're gonna leave me too, huh? And Kakashi's like, what? No, I just want to check your seal. And everyone's like shocked, like Jinjuki. But Kakashi sends them all away, and he checks his seal, like it isn't weakened. And he's like, "Yeah, I might have let the toad beast out." And he's like, "What?" He's like, "Yeah, they're my friends. They help me." And then Kakashi's like, "No way." Naruto does a w- blue fire appears over Naruto's hands. The seal and Jutsu dries, and he grabs his seal and weakens it. And he's like, "Oh, finally figured it out." He learned this from the one of a scroll from a scroll, by the way. And Kashi stopped him, and he slips Kashi's hand away, like just enough so they stay inside me, but they have freedom. And all the toad bees just like chilling, like finally this place has expanded. And now to go to his mind, and instead of being like a corridor, it's like infinite space. And everyone's like, "Thanks, Naruto, you're the best." And then they say, Oh, yeah, Naruto, do these hand signs. And Naruto does them, and one by one, each toad beast appears in a small form. Like little puppies, and Kishi's like, Kishi's like, wait a minute, you actually did befriend them? And we're gonna leave it here. If you guys did enjoy, remember to hit the like goal, which I can't remember because this is a new day. Also, good news, we're nearly at 1,000 subs! So yeah, remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Also, at 1000 subs, there's going to be a face reveal. Also, can I just mention a YouTuber named Ryan Trunk here? He has over 2000 subscribers sub to me. Like, we were presenting out here. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like and subscribe. All, like, all the usual. And peace out. See ya. Like and subscribe!